Hi, Ian Newton from 60 Minutes at 60minutes to quitsmoking.com. I'd like to talk to you briefly about chemical responses to smoking. The first is the reason why you feel good briefly, and that's because as the nicotine enters your brain, and that's not a good thing to start with, you, your response is to secrete dopamine, which makes you feel good. Of course you can get dopamine from watching a funny movie, having an evening with friends, playing with your child, having sex, running, all sorts of activities. Uh, so it's not the only way to get dopamine response. The second and the one I want to mostly address is adrenaline. So this is the flip side of, of nicotine and why it can uh, stress you. So you have a cigarette, it causes an adrenal response which gives you that bit of a hit, that little bit of energy. You, know, you have your coffee and cigarette first thing in the morning, but then it drives cortisol which is a stress hormone. The stress hormone simply increases your anxiety, increases your stress. Getting back to adrenaline, the problem with artificially inducing an adrenal response is over time your body stops reacting to it. It just gives up. And the, you know, the, a big expression of this would be someone who literally in the old terms has a nervous breakdown. We call it you know, adrenal fatigue these days. See, so in the days of the caveman, you would walk through the forest, see a saber-toothed tiger, adrenaline would flood your body, you'd run away. But now we have a constant adrenal trickle. It's the traffic, it's our job, it's our relationships, it's the money worries, it's, it's our kids, it's, it's our health, it's all sorts of things. Now you add cigarettes to that and you are pumping this adrenal response pretty much around the clock. So it's just another reason for you to quit. If you want to quit, we can make that happen very quickly and very simply at 60minutes to quitsmoking.com. Thank you, I'm Ian Newton.